Hi everyone, it's so nice to be back at Oasis Aqua Lounge after a couple of weeks of uh, being, you know, in hiatus and doing my whole family trip and all that stuff. So, I mean, it was good. I had to do it and I'm um, glad I did it and I'm very happy to be home. Uh, always a pleasure to be back and just to see some familiar faces. It takes a little out of you when you don't see any of your familiar friends and people that you care about and um, yeah thanks for uh, supporting anyways just thought I'd let you know um, you know in advance if there are times that you know I know you may remember me and I remember you and then there's times that I don't remember your names please forgive me um, I'm not always the best at it, but I tend to remember, you know, people's personality traits or where you live or maybe if you had a pet or something or, you know, I remember certain things and I don't know why it's like that, but that's just me. So, uh, you know, a couple of other things that are happening. There's tons of things going on with my personal life, but we'll put that aside. Um we got a few really fun things on the go right now. We have a CFNM party. That's Clothing Female Naked Male Party. And that's going to be happening on Tuesday, July 23rd, that I'll be hosting. And uh, I may have uh, another colleague um, from Oasis uh, to help me organize this a little better and, you know, to help co-host that kind of thing. Um, I've never done, I haven't been to one, so this will be very interesting, but I know, um, I've been part of the whole, um, joining up with, uh, CFNM, uh, group, uh, Ontario on, uh, FetLife, so, um, I'm very happy and very honored to be part of that, and they took me in, and, um, so, please be patient with me as I learn all the ropes about it, but um, I've been doing some research, so I hope that's going to be sufficient, and if there are going to be times that if I go down to LA and, you know, meet this, um, this fellow that gave me a wonderful chapter out of his book about CFNM parties, so stay tuned, the details are coming, and um, so don't get your <laughs> your knickers into a knot. It is coming. And um, so, yeah, what else did actually happen out of Oasis for me? Well, I had some pre-negotiated play with the infamous voodoo porn star. Um, we've played a couple of times now, and um, yeah, I like him. He's hot even though for, you know, a guy of his height, but, you know, doesn't matter. He's got a pretty good kickstand, and he's a funny guy, and he's charming, I guess you can say. So that works enough for me. It is what it is. And as you know, and you've been following me, that, you know, negotiation is a very important thing about play for me. And if you had come up to me and in the play area and we've never talked to each other, not even exchanged names, and let alone you want to come up and play with me, it's not always going to work out for me. And it doesn't matter how hot, you know, or how big you are, it doesn't, you know, you know, I still need to know who are you. And I like to keep my friends for a long time. And that's probably one of the things that about a place like Oasis, I always feel that when I'm connected with somebody, and even if we've never played or if we just played a one-off, but we, you know, we still respect each other, that's all that matters. So to me, if I have your friendship first and play, play is secondary. I mean, it can, you know, it's the icing on the cake, but, you know, Friendship is good. We have a really good community, and I want to sustain that. So if I politely had said no, I do not want to play with you, then please respect my wishes. And that goes for anybody else. If they say no and they don't want to play with you, um, you have to respect their wishes. So um, we're all human beings. We all have our own opinions. And... Um, 
we want it to be a safe place for everybody so don't make people feel uncomfortable or don't take it too personally if they did say no so it can happen to anybody it can even happen to you even it can happen to you i know it it can and i'm just telling you this from my bottom of my heart so um other things um that i like to share is oh my god the day just went by so quick. I mean, from spending some time at the pool with a, a friend of mine, it was her birthday, and then we had a few other individuals that normally they come with their partners, and then they kind of join our group, and it was just really nice. You know, sometimes, you know, our partners can't come out with us, but you can always be there with your friends. So... You know, you don't always have to wait to go with other friends to come to Oasis. You can always meet people here who are willing to, you know, share and enjoy your time. But be respectful and be kind, and kindness will be returned back to you. So if you're pushy about something to people, people will all automatically will just want to be pushy with you too. So treat people as the way you want to be treated. And, um, oh yeah... So, this infamous Josh, yes, he was there um, at the club, and he actually brought a friend with him, you know, a little support, and that's good, that's totally good. Um, I wasn't able to spend all my time with him, but I did get to meet him a couple days prior to in person. He's actually a really nice guy. So he's going to have a video um, that is gonna supposed to be ready for me and maybe it's gonna be up on YouTube by now I hope crossing my fingers and it's about his version about what how he feels about uh, Oasis and my event and I hope that he comes back he's actually a pretty sincere genuine guy and yes he is available so if I'm sure there are women out there that may find him attractive or hot or whatnot. He's a really nice guy. I like that. And, you know, why do guys, like, you know, good guys have to finish last? I know there is a fetish for some people that actually like the bad boy thing. And I understand. I totally understand. Um, <laughs> what else? Oh, yeah. Dirty Bingo, it was supposed to be out by the pool, and it didn't happen, but it was still in the dungeon. The weather was, like, you know, the temperatures were dropping pretty quickly, and you probably would have been more comfortable to be in the dungeon. Now, if it was going to be this kind of weather like today, and it was nice and hot, and it was 30 degrees, I'm sure outside by the pool would have been spectacular. So, let's hope to have a really good summer. And, um, yeah, we had last-minute Bon Bon Girls, and apparently they're, um, they're an escort agency in town. And they just had their meet-and-greet, and they had a little section off at, um, at one part of the, uh, the pool deck, and that's okay. I didn't get the chance to talk to them much, but um, they were there doing their thing, and they had a meet-and-greet with their own clientele. And, um, yeah, so I had... Um, one of my friends uh, that came out to support me and I've known him actually since before I moved out to Toronto he's um, yeah he's a nice friend of mine we don't really have a label on our relationship friendship it's um, you know we're friends we're very respectful of each other you know and um, yeah we had a little fun up in the, in the private room and it was all good just a little foreplay play that kind of thing and it was all fine and dandy so do I feel like I've had a lot of fun just having multiple people on last Wednesday yeah I think you know I'm just catching up from my trip I swear to God I feel like I was just going on a church missionary mission something of sort and not having any sexual contact for two weeks and I swear I was gonna have like some kind of cobwebs being built up inside me but you know that's all in theory but when you're used to having that kind of attention and then you don't have it anymore you're just like 
what the hell? Why did that happen to me? Oh, well, such is life. And I'm back in the city, and I should be here for the rest of the summer. And I'm looking forward to some, some of the changes that are going to be coming up ahead of me again. But, um, yes, life is full of an adventure and uh, full of adventures and uh, never a dull moment. So if you're bored with your life, don't be bored. You got to go and find some sort of adventure for you. It might not have to be something about sex. It could be just something fun. Remember, life is too short. So, you know, and the weather's hot outside, so do something fun outside. (laughs) Until then, we see you this coming Wednesday for the Right Approach um, workshop with Miss F. And uh, it is not the kissing booth for the uh, food bank donations. That is the following week on Wednesday, July 3rd, after Canada Day, which Canada Day is July 1st for some of those that are non-Canadians that don't know our holidays. So, um, on that note, leave those donations for July 3rd. Um, It is non-perishable food items. If you don't know um, what are the items that you can donate, please look up dailyfoodbank.ca or is it .org, something like that or rather. I'm sure you can use your Google and you may find it. And that's it for now. Toodles.